What about when several external forces act on a body? If several external forces act on a body and we want to determine the total work done on the body when it moves, we need to, c need to consider the work done by each of the forces in turn. So let's consider our crate again, being dragged along the floor by a force F. Previously, we just considered the work done by the applied force F. If we want to determine the total work done on the crate when it moves, we must consider all the forces acting on it. So we need to draw a free body diagram. So here's the free body diagram where we have the pulling force F, the frictional force F subscript F, the weight of the block Mg, and the normal reaction force N. The work done by the pulling force F is just equal to F cos theta times X as before, and that is positive because it's in the same direction as the displacement. The work done by the friction force F subscript F is equal to minus FF times X. It's negative this time because it is in the opposite direction to the direction of the displacement. The work done by the weight mg and the normal force n are both equal to zero in this case because they are perpendicular to the direction of motion. Since work is a scalar quantity, the total work done is the algebraic sum of the individual works done. So the total work done is equal to f cos theta x minus ffx which we can then take x out of the bracket, and that's f cos theta minus ff times x. But notice now that what's in the bracket is the resultant force on the body. Therefore, the total work done by all the forces acting on the body is equal to the work done by the resultant force. So if you want to determine the total work done by all forces acting on a body, you can either work out all the individual works done by each of the forces in turn and then add them up algebraically, or you can work out the resultant force and then just multiply the displacement by the component of the resultant force in the direction of the displacement. Note that if the resultant force acting on the object is zero, the total work done on the object must be zero and the object is not accelerating. But note that individual forces may do non-zero work. So if, if our crate is moving at a constant speed, the work done by the pulling force must be equal but opposite to the work done by friction. The total work done by all forces acting on the object is not zero, then the object must be accelerating.